New York is known for sometimes having extreme weather. So where do New Yorkers go for the most up-to-date weather forecasts? They watch their favorite TV weatherman, Mr. G. Hi, I'm Mr. G. I'm the meteorologist at Channel 11 here in New York, WPIX-TV, and also CBS Radio in New York. So I'm in charge of telling a story, building a drama of cold temperatures, wind chill factors, snow on the ground for 35 days. For the 19th time this season, flakes are in the air. It's been snow to sleet, it's been sleet to snow, it's been snow to sleet to rain. It's been raining on Long Island, sleeting in the city, snowing in the suburbs. I want to build up this story to announce what people don't want to hear, another possible snowstorm. The polar vortex is back. More on this later on. Does, does a cold winter mean a warm summer? No, it's folklore. So how do New Yorkers handle all this bad weather news? Certain kind of weather affects people. I mean, it's been a winter where snow's been on the ground a long time. That affects people. I think people have been indoors a lot. But New Yorkers are a tough group. I think people want to connect. Uh, and so weather's a great way to connect. Whether you're single and you want to meet somebody, talk about the weather. Whether you want to complain, talk about the weather. And even though the weather may not be getting any better, the technology we use to predict it is. When I first started the business, it was 72-hour forecast. As the science progressed, now everybody sees a seven-day forecast. Well, what you're going to see in two years is a 10-day forecast. And when my daughter grows up, it will be a 30-day forecast. So what makes for a great TV weatherman? Connecting is a big part of the job. The people know the weather. They get it on the computer. They get it on the app. 32% of the audience between 10 and 11 o'clock in New York City watches the news, which means to me that they still want to get it from somebody they trust. So they watch Mr. G for a reason. I still haven't found out that reason, but I know I work hard to tell a good story every night.